Hal World, a game where you play as a castaway who suddenly washed up in a mysterious island filled with even more mysterious animals, every single one with special abilities that you can't really comprehend. Now, who are you? What are you doing here? How did you get here? Why do you look like an oversized blueberry? You don't know. All you know is that you have to survive. And thankfully, we meet a woman at the very start of the game who teaches us the most important lesson in the world. Never trust pals. Never. Now, they, some of them may look cute, but they will kill you the millisecond they get the chance. They will murder you, they will eat you, and there is nothing you're gonna be able to do. So, do not trust them. So join me as we tackle Power World with THE Palace Challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to Pal World. Today, we have a very special challenge for this game. You know how in Pal World, you know, half of the name of the game is Pal, and then is World? Well, <laughs> we're gonna play World. What I mean by this is, we are not gonna capture a single Paul the entire game. We're not gonna use Pauls, because in this game, you can actually do most of the things that you need pulse for yourself. You don't really need pulse to survive. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Basically, we're just gonna try to survive for as long as we can and get as far as we can in the game without capturing a single pal. Now, as you can already tell, hey, look at that, we already leveled up. We're already moving up. So as you can tell, it's gonna be pretty difficult and realistically, you cannot complete everything in the game without pals. Because there are some things that you just can't do without them. So, we're gonna try our best to see how far we can get without relying on pals. So, let's get started. First of all, we're gathering some supplies. Don't fall off the cliff, thank you very much. We're gonna need stones, we're gonna need to build a primitive workbench, which we already can do. We should find the base too. We're not gonna need that much that much space because <laughs> we're alone. And since we're alone, we don't really need a big base. I think we should focus more on a protected base. So, maybe we'll make our base here. Oh, I suppose we could make a temporary base here. We already have some general natural protection. Or, we could make it up here in the initial area. I mean, it is closed off. We could just, like, build some walls and bam, we're protected. Yeah, I mean... Nah, it's a little bit too small. Maybe down here... Yeah, I suppose we could make a base here. Though it is a little bit far away from the rest of the areas. <gasps> nah, you know what? We're gonna build it somewhere around here. We just need a little spot. So we can change it later, if we get far enough, obviously. We might not even get past the initial first levels. So... <laughs> Where should we make it? We need a place that can be easily protected and can hopefully make it so that raiders can't get close to you. Uh, maybe here. Yeah, they can come through there, so I don't know. We need like a small cliff. Hmm, hey, look at that. It's a Liffy Monk effigy. Not gonna be that useful. Ugh. When we're, you know, not catching any pals. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe here. It's a little bit small, a little bit cramped, but... It seems easily protected. Or maybe in here. Yeah, this is better. This is better. Okay, we're gonna do it here. I know it's not the prettiest place in the world, but... <laughs> we don't have time for that, okay? 
We're alone, so we gotta get working. First of all, we need a weapon. There we go, wooden club, we even leveled up. In fact, let's use some of our technology points. So, we don't need PAL spheres, but we're gonna take them regardless. For... There is a use for them, and I'll let you know what it is once we get to that point. But we're gonna need a bow, arrows, a shoddy bath, a campfire, wooden chest, repair bench, wooden blank, blah blah. We don't really need this. But the rest is okay. We have our pal deck, you know, we're never gonna feel it. We're just gonna have like little 3D models of our characters. And that's it. <laughs> that is all we're gonna have. Hey, how are we hunger-wise? We're pretty okay. Okay, let's see if we can build a pickaxe. That's gonna be necessary. Oh, and we have some stat points. Now for that, we're, our main objective is gonna be to increase our attack and our work speed, I'd say. Those are the two main things we're gonna need. Health, stamina, and weight are also very important but chances are we're gonna need to hit hard because we're gonna be the damage in this in this place so we can't rely on pals we're gonna have to take down the pals ourselves okay we got a torch too okay let's hunt down some food well no we don't need to do that yet actually let me damage test you know Let's see how much damage we can deal to some of these pals. Oh look, a pulse sphere. Cool. We're not gonna use that. Come on, Lambo! Hey? We hit relatively hard. I'm pretty sure they also hit very hard. Whoa! Hey, come on! Okay, if we aim for their heads, we deal a lot more damage. Remember that. Okay, okay, so far so good. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry. He wants me dead. He ran into a tree. That's great. I'll take him down. Just aim for their head and you got it. Okay, you too, you too. Okay, simple enough. I want to try my hand at taking down one of these ones. Pals that have some ranged attacks. We are not gonna fight that one, by the way. <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna get to a point where we can actually... Actually, maybe. Hmm. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Being able to take down a Mamorous without Pals. That would be interesting. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take you down right now. Okay, we gotta dodge as best as we can. I heard another Fox Spark. So we gotta be careful. Ow. Yeah, that's good, they don't deal that much damage. Ow. Is that another one? No. Okay, are you gonna shoot? There you go. We deal some acceptable damage right now. We're probably gonna have to invest on our... Oh, it's a chickpea. On our stamina to... Okay, but our damage is better than I expected, honestly. I thought we would struggle. I have my own playthrough of Pal World. And in that one, I started the game on hard difficulty because I have a problem where I always start games on the hardest difficulty, or at least hard difficulty, and I always struggle. I always regret it later. And I did it for this game, and... Let me tell you, if you're playing hard, first of all, pals take you down with one shot. Even Fox Sparks right there, level 5, he kills you with one fireball. It's not fun. We're not gonna need that one, we need rock. So you have to dodge every single hit. It becomes a one-hit KO situation. That health power is kind of useless. And once you get the shield in this game, that is basically an extra hit. An extra hit that you can take. Kind of useless. 
but also, your damage is decreased. A little bit, but enough where it's actually noticeable. And worst of all, the eggs. You can actually incubate eggs. And uh, we're not gonna do that in this run. But you can incubate eggs, and in hard mode, they did the funny thing where it takes a maximum of 72 hours to hatch an egg. And the normal egg takes two hours. What a common egg that is not even rare. I, I realized that the hard way and I had to change some of the settings to be able to make the game actually playable. But okay, we're gonna build our base thingy. I forget what it's called. Our pal box. There it is. It's right there. We're gonna build it somewhere. Okay, it needs to be a, a cube. Uh, right here. Now. Let's build it... Should we build it next to the wall? I know this is not pretty, but, you know... You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, let's build it here. Uh, uh, come on, get it through. That works. It ain't pretty, but it is home. So we build it down. There we go. Pal management. We have no pals, and that's how it's gonna look the entire game. But we do have a quick travel, a fast travel point. So that's good, and we can upgrade our pal. Mm. Mm, that might make things a little bit difficult. We can't really upgrade our base very easily. But it's okay. I mean, we don't really need to upgrade it when you think about it. The only thing it does is that it increases the max amount of piles working at the base and the maximum amount of bases you can have, which is not that important right now. For the time being, we should focus on our own survival. And leveling up. We really need to level up, because we're gonna need clothing. Otherwise, we're gonna freeze to death. Okay. Let me... Uh, let's see something. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. For the time being, let's clear out this area. We're, we're gonna need a... Uh, an axe. We need wood. Okay. Let's, let's grab some wood. There's a couple of gun mosses. What do they have? Huh. I never realized they have, like, flowers on their heads. Huh. That's peculiar. Oh, there we go. Level 4. We're already moving up in the world. Who needs pals to level up? We can just do it ourselves. And we can grab this chest, which usually have some good stuff. Uh, okay. We need a bit... I think we have enough wood. Let's go back to the base real quick. Look at it split. Man, the worst part of playing without pals is gonna be the fact that we're not gonna have a mount. We're not gonna be able to ride a pal to move faster. That's gonna suck. But okay, let's build a stone axe. And let's build... I want the bow, but we're gonna need a lot more wood. So, oh look, it's a wandering merchant. Neat. But okay, let's cut down some wood. Clear out this section so we can actually use it. We're actually almost full on storage, so let's put a chest right around here. Place a pal in the base pal slot in your pal box and they will help you out based on their work suitability. <laughs> We're not doing that. We don't need stinking pals. Okay, what do we take? We take this, we take our money, we leave the resources. Yep, there we go. 
Should we speak with the merchant? Where is he? Oh, there you are. Yo, buddy, what brings you here, eh? <laughs> what brings you here? Hello? 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 Ah, there you go. Hey, buddy, what do you got? Oh, I see, I see, you got some stuff. Okay, I don't need any of that. In fact... Hmm... In fact... Remember when I told you that these little spheres would actually have a little bit of use? Yeah, there. I said this challenge is a palace challenge. And you know, there's something funny when you actually capture these guys. Hey, wait, hold on! When you capture humans, it specifies that they are not pals. Come back here! Wait, come back! Come on, man! Wait, I just want to talk! I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to speak. Come on, man. Wait. Wait, man, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 please. I no. God. Okay, we we almost did it. We almost had him, dude. We ah. Uh... Ah, uh, come on, man! <laughs> that was the perfect opportunity! Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe maybe he'll think, oh, you know what? <laughs> Perhaps I do like to be enslaved by another human. Pfft. Now, there is another human up there that we could take, but... She has... She has a gun. And I don't think we can beat gun with stick. I just don't think we have a good chance at beating Gun with Stick. I really don't think so. Hey, Lumball! I need some XP! Come on! Okay. We'll catch him next time. That stinking... That stinking human. Okay, so we're about to freeze to death. Where is my... Base? Oh, I was already there and I left. Okay, we're, we're about to freeze to death, so we better get home quick. If I'm not mistaken, once it gets to night time, it gets really cold. What do we need to make? We can use the... Um, Whatchamacallit? We can use the torch for heating. But yeah, it would be ideal to build a roof over our heads. Which we can do. Oh, handheld torches were up. Yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. Uh, let's try building a roof. We can't do that like that. Okay. Let's try building it. Okay, let's cut some wood. We're gonna freeze a little bit, but it's fine, it's fine! We don't need to stay uh, warm the whole time. We just need wood. We need wood and fiber. A lot of wood to build a small shack. We don't need anything fancy, just, you know, a tiny little shack. Oh, let's see... Can we... Build? Oh, we're gonna need to build foundation, that's true. Uh, okay. Let's build some foundation. Right here. Right here. Right here. And right here, right here, right here. That works. Then some stairs. Where should we... Hmm. Ow. Okay. Uh, right here. There we go. That should work. Now let's build some walls. 
Uh, we're gonna need the door here. We're gonna need... Let's take a window here. And then let's do a door. Then let's do a window right here. Let's make a door. Let's make a wall. We... There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Now we need some roofing. There we go. We got some shelter down. Now we're not gonna freeze to death. Eh. Uh, let's see... There we go. We can build a bow now. There we go, we got a bow, we're gonna need some arrows. 12 should be good for the time being, we're gonna get a little bit more later. Oh, this one's gonna take a little bit. Okay, okay, now let's check some technology points. We're not gonna need a feed box for the time being. Some traps could be useful. Perhaps. Okay, first the cloth, the stone sphere, the common shield, there we go, that's gonna be huge. And the hanging trap. What do we need for that? Paldium fragments. Oh, we can make a cloth outfit. Good, 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 good. Now we're not gonna freeze to death. Shut up, Katiba! Shut up! Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now we're not naked. Woo! Whoop. Sorry. Got excited. Um, <laughs> Where did we get bread from? I don't remember getting bread. That sounds weird when you say it out loud. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, man. That that's that sounded weird. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Very well done. Uh, can I make a bed? I just want a little bed. Nope. We're, we're gonna have to wait. Okay, we're gonna need the torch. For a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. Stone axe. That's good. I'm gonna get some wood. There we go. Now... Now we can get cooking. Let's try making a bed. Let's put it right around... Um, right here, right here. Yeah, this works. There we go, we got a bed. Let's sleep like two minutes. Okay, good sleep. I suppose it's already daytime. Yep, it is. Okay. Duh. Okay, let's try our new bow and take down a couple of pals. Like you! Nice. Okay, okay. We're moving up in the world. We're actually dealing a lot more damage now. We should still be wary because we are weak humans. In fact... Let's upgrade our attack power a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Simple enough. Let's try taking them some more pals. Come on, Katiba! Okay, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's take down a penglet. Okay, this one is a lot more resistant. Oh, I threw a pal ball by accident. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. We're out of... Ooh, ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, fire is strong against them. I'm sure of that. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh god. Oh god, we're frozen. Ugh. Okay. We can hold our own. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop freezing me. Stop. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, hello. <laughs> Chickpea? Yo, Chickpea coming in clutch? I don't know why he's fighting with us, but I don't mind it. Okay, I'll take you down with this. I'm really not sure why Chicky P is helping us, but I am thankful. We didn't capture that pal, so it's helping us because it wants to. Come on! Stick him down! I'm sorry, Chicky P, I hit you, but we're not friends. Uh, okay. Pangolets are definitely way stronger than the other so we need to eat let's eat this bread and some berries oh i ate a little bit too much that's fine i need more arrows something that i've noticed with this game is the fact that this game is actually more of a tps than uh, an rpg you're more... What's the word I would say? The game encourages you to use FPS mechanics. Well, TPS mechanics like bows, arrows, crossbows, guns. More than weapons such as this. Because getting close is not the greatest. It still works. But it's better to just keep a distance and shoot projectiles. Could be wrong though. Maybe that's just me playing on hard mode speaking because in hard mode getting close is a death sentence it's just a death sentence if you get close and you get hit by a single attack you're dead absolutely dead and that's not fun <laughs> but in standard difficulty it actually feels a lot better maybe i'll change the damage you can actually customize your world settings, similar to Project Zomboid. That's something I really like about this game. You can make your own experience. That's how I change it so that my eggs take the normal amount of time to hatch. Instead of having to keep my game up, my game open for 18 hours just to hatch a large egg. That is not fun. So yeah, you can actually make your own experience. Now I'm gonna finish crafting these arrows because this is gonna take a while and I'll see you guys as soon as I'm done. <laughs> oh god, there we go. Oh, that took a while, but yeah, now we don't have to worry about arrows that much because we have 120. That's pretty good, pretty nifty. So, let's leave some of our stuff right here. Uh, we don't really need this. We'll keep them around just because. Okay. So, what do we have? We have some new stat points we leveled up. We're gonna put it to work speed, actually. That just feels so important right now. After, after spending like 10 minutes <laughs> building arrows... And holding down the button. God, I, I I think we need some more work speed. <laughs> okay. Um, what should we do? Let's keep going. Actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what? I think this is a good place to end the first episode. Yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, let We'll see how far we get, you know? For the time being, this is it for the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video, you know. Do whatever you must. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.